All set. Allow me to do the honor of assigning your driver. I choose you. All yours, Ignis. Come now, he always drives. Be a friend and let him rest for a change. You drive your car and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off. Just to be clear, this isn't a race, it is a chase. You're not to pass me. Lose sight of me, and you'll lose your way. And no tailgating. An accident would spoil the trip. All right, all right. Set the road already. As you wish. Drive safely now. First Galden and then Lestalem. What a coincidence, huh? Way too convenient to be a coincidence. I reckon he's following us around. But to what end? That question bothers me deeply, as does his origin. It's hard for me to picture that guy in the Empire. But it's even harder to imagine him as a Lucian. I'd sooner not rely on him. But he may be our only way in to the Disk of Kothis. What's His Highness's opinion of this, Arden? <sighs> Don't really have one. He's nothing more than a creepy old dude to me. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head right there. Well, that's why we came up with a plan. Gotta watch our backs the whole way. Knocked. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Wouldn't want to have one behind the wheel. Stop if you need to, all right? So, any havens along the way? Oh, somebody wants to camp. Somebody else wants a proper bed. Nice firm grounds, much better for your back. Can't we at least make it a caravan? I don't get why you like camping so much. Under the stars, at one with nature. What's not to like? Now in the wild, there are no rules to follow. What say we call it a day here? What say we continue on to Carthus? The Archeum's not going anywhere. Neither are we under your stewardship. So we make camp with Arden. Hell no. <sighs> My
might as well get the tent up. Oh, I'm afraid I've never really been one for the outdoors. I shall foot the bill, so let us stay at the caravan over yonder. Now this feels like a road trip. Yeah, go figure. Well, well, if it isn't yours truly. Uh, if you'd rather not be in photos? Oh, I don't mind at all. Snap away for His Highness's collection. Uh, what? Please, set your heart at rest. I shall do what I can to ease your suffering. Lady. Freya. <sighs> Blessed stars of life and light. Deliver us from darkness blight. That is all I can do for now. But trust that relief will come in a matter of days. It's a miracle! Thank you, Lady Lunafreya. Lady Luna Freya, I left at dawn to come see you. You must be exhausted. A, a fair bit, but more grateful than anything. Let us begin at once. We should have done more, like taken her in. Damn right. She could have bunked at my place. Or mine. I'm sure the missus would understand. Don't think being married will give you an excuse not to work out. That came out of nowhere. You can't just let yourself go with the eyes of the world on you. Uh, I don't know about that. He seems to have pulled it off so far. What does that mean? All the more reason he needs to clean up his act now. Feel sorry for Lady Luna Freya if he doesn't. <laughs> He's got you there, Noct. Everyone would be like, oh. Good morning to you. <clears throat> I should warn you, we're about to pass the point of no return. I trust you're not having any second thoughts. Very well. Let me know when you are ready. Thank you kindly. Come again.
You want weapons? We got lots of them. Pleasure doing business. I'll see you later.
I should warn you, we're about to pass the point of no return. I trust you're not having any second thoughts. Whoever thought of tapping into the meteor's power was a genius. Can you even go near that thing? They harvest fragments found nearby, pieces that broke off when the meteor fell. Almost fell, I should say, but the Archeon caught it. And he's still there, holding the thing up. Guess he never misses leg day. Or any day, for that matter. His unceasing toil and the meteor's might form the tenets of worship for the locals of Disguise. Makes you wonder what it's like, down there at his feet. So you know, it's hot where we're going. Will the camera fare all right? As long as I avoid open flames, it should be okay. I think. We don't have a spare if it breaks. Leave it in the car? Oh no, I'm taking it. Not every day you get up close and personal with the Archean. I kick myself if I miss the photo op. Spoken like a true photographer. As they say, better to try and fail than never to try at all. Look at you. Well, they say that, not me. Well, you just do what you gotta. Hey, Iggy. Can your glasses take the heat? Well, I don't see why they shouldn't. Even if they couldn't, he'd still be alright. Yeah, Iggy's eyes ain't that bad. Oh, really? Yeah, my vision is possible without corrective lenses. Then why not take them off sometimes? Well, uh... You don't get it, huh? Ignis likes his world to be crystal clear. Indeed. I've never been one for ambiguity. Ah. I think I'm getting the picture now. Hey, Ignis. How's it feel being away from the wheel? Positively frightening. What are you saying? that I'm no stranger to His Highness's driving habits. Appreciate the confidence. Read a book. It'll take your mind off it. I'd rather keep my eyes on the road for now, thank you. I guess nothing can take your mind off Knox driving. Will you? Better not be a setup. Have I given you reason to doubt me? You don't really inspire confidence. Yeah, not very straightforward. Hello, it's me. Be so kind as to open up. Wow. That worked? I may not look like much, but I do have some influence. Aren't you glad we came together? Your audience with Divinity lies ahead. You're leaving? I drop you at the Archean's open door. And with that, bid you farewell. that one again. Whoa, a little harsh there, don't you think? Guy really knew his stuff about nursery rhymes. Yeah, nothing creepy about that. So we keep going this way. Then we'll find out what the Empire's up to. These ruins. Is that what I think it is? Didn't expect to find a royal tomb here. Would be a shame not to grab that power, hey, Highness? Let's grab it and go.
Here we go again! This one's huge! Get away! Quickly! Thank heavens you're safe. Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Be careful now. You two. What? We're going where? Don't rush off on your own, huh? Don't get left behind. Wise guy. <sighs> They're on edge. Let's not ruffle their feathers anymore. Um, try shutting your beak. Just offering sound advice. Yeah, like a parrot in my ear. either. Make it quick. Just want this to be over. Talk. So do I. Glad the feeling's mutual. Let's move. Sick 
this endless walking. Then I'm sick of your endless whining. Calm the hell down. Get off my back. Are you a man of royal blood, or aren't you? <laughs> of course I am. I couldn't forget it if I tried. What about it? I ain't saying that you've forgotten, but you gotta know something. You're not the only one who's having a tough time. We're all on edge. We, Amicidia, are the King's sworn shields. Guard the King with our lives. That's the way it's always been. I've embraced my duty. And I take pride in it. When you can't focus, I focus for you. It's my job, so let me do it, all right? All right. Sorry, but I had to get it out. Come on. <sighs> and remember, don't rush ahead on your own. Hey, Gladio. Your dad, huh? I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Hmm? Isn't that your phone? Ignis. You're safe. Good. Listen, Imperial troops are here. I got cut off. But it sounds like we're about to have Imperial company. It's about to get even hotter in here. We finally made it. I know. Yeah. <sighs> 